Hi, um, is this the number to schedule my ultrasound? Um, were you looking for radiology or were you looking for um, women's first? Women's first. Okay, so yes, this is um, women's first. Okay. So you can schedule your ultrasound. Okay. Um, how soon were you looking to have it scheduled? Well, as soon as you guys have availability. That would be great. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Um, and what kind of ultrasound are we scheduling? What do you mean? Is it for um, OB or for gynae? Oh, uh, gynae. Okay. All right. All right. Do you have availability possibly today? I do. Do you now? <laughs> Hang on one. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This thing doesn't like me. Can you come in at 12 o'clock today? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. And what's a good phone number for you? Well, you're going to need to drink water for it. Okay. So I need, I need you to drink 32 ounces of water one hour prior to the appointment within a 15-minute time span. I need you to have a full bladder. Okay. I'll do my best. Okay. Um, also, do eat something because um, having you have uh, to drink all that water, not anything on your stomach is not good. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I feel that I should explain what's going on. Um, it's been happening for the last two months and today I decided to go and get help and have it checked and see what's going on. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has anxiety when they don't know certain things about their own body, right? I'm going to start with the full story from the beginning. Um, I was in the hospital about two months ago and the reason why I was in the hospital was that I went through the emergency room, I had strep, um, which is that bacteria in the throat, and I had a complication of strep. They uh, admitted me to the hospital for about two days, so 48 hours, and they pumped me up with antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medication. Everything was through the IV. That was the reason for me to be in the hospital because I was not able to get um, IV medication at home or at a clinic. And the medication that I got, I told you it was antibiotics, which is basic, but it was a cocktail of antibiotics. So probably they destroyed my gut uh, bacteria, that's for sure. And also very strong IV anti-inflammatories, which is a steroid medication. A steroid is a hormone and apparently it can mess up with my hormones. Ever since coming back from the hospital, I got my period three times, and all three times was with were within a week and a half in between. And I think that kind of messed things up. Um, so the stress from the hospital, plus the medication, it put a lot of um, strain on my body and I've been kind of struggling lately. <coughs> okay. Just about to finish my um, green smoothie. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit over here. I have to film a POV video today and then i think i have about 45 minutes after that i have to drive to the hospital to get my ultrasound done
it's 11 o'clock and I'm gonna start drinking water um, as I was told to drink as much water as I can I guess they need me to have a full bladder when I do the ultrasound and that usually helps to visualize the inside a little bit better because of the pressure that the full bladder is putting on the on the ovaries and the uterus and everything that's inside there also they mentioned that I should eat and that's because if you combine a lot of water with with food then your body is able to hold on to the water a little bit easier um, and you don't eliminate as much water which means that your your bladder will not be as full uh, so your 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 urine is not going to be diluted and that you're going to slowly release urine throughout the entire hour that is following after I ate uh, lunch. It's 11 o'clock and I'm gonna um, quickly make a salad and then, I mean, I need to start drinking water. So what am I talking about? I'm just, I'm just gonna start drinking water and make some food for me and in 15 minutes I have to leave the house. So I'm gonna make just a regular salad with uh, cucumber, tomato, and onion. I'm going to smell like onion, which is okay eating lots of onion and garlic is very anti-inflammatory and I heard that it balances hormones out, so I'm gonna try it. Get more nutrients more, more vitamins and more fiber into my body uh, fiber helps a lot with gut health and by increasing my gut health i am also lowering inflammation and helping with hormonal imbalance so because of that we're gonna leave the skin the skin oh my goodness we're gonna leave the skin of the cucumber on we're not gonna take it off and i washed all my vegetables i'm just going to slice them the way i like it and then i'm going to make the olive oil and we're going to go ahead and uh, make the salad Delicious. Another way of increasing fiber is by adding parsley or whatever herbs you may have in the fridge. I love parsley. I grew up with parsley and I love putting it in all my dishes, including scrambled eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just uh, very quickly wash and rinse the parsley, then I'll chop it off in you know very small pieces, and then I'll just mix it with the eggs directly in the pan. I don't have time for anything else. Um, not gonna be fancy, so we're just going to eat very fast and then go. 
if you didn't know parsley and green herbs in general they have lots of antioxidants fiber and vitamins um, they are extremely extremely healthy for our gut and for hormonal imbalance now um, as I would suggest that you eat it as often as you can and you try to incorporate it in almost all your dishes so this way you uh, can add a little bit you know here and there and you are sure that you're eating enough vitamins throughout the day Okay, nothing fancy, as you can tell. I'm just gonna wear some leggings. I'm gonna need to take them off anyway, and off we go to get the ultrasound. I am in the parking lot, and I'm drinking more water. I'm going to not turn off the camera and I will try to film as much as I can when I'm going uh, in the office. Now you know how clinics are and usually you can't really film in the hospital so I'll do my best to grasp the whole experience and what they say and what is going on. Um, if they tell me to turn it off, I'll have to do that, but I will see how it goes. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank you so much. I couldn't film in the clinic when I got the ultrasound. It turned out to be okay. Um, I mean, the ultrasound itself, I still have to wait for airplanes. I still have to wait for the doctor's final report on what they saw on the ultrasound now i hope i'm getting um, i'm gonna get good results and i find out that i have this irregular bleeding from the medication that i received in the hospital about a month and a half ago two months i don't know how long it's been it's been a long time anyway and now i'm just gonna go home take a chill pill i was going to film today but i don't feel like filming and I would just like to take a nap. I'm very tired. Not that I did a lot today, but I did wake up at 4.30 to go to the gym. I can tell you all about the changes that I'm making in 
my daily routine. And I'm going to go home, take a nap. No, I'm going to go home, eat, take a nap. That's the order. All right, let's do this. Why did they park so close to me? You know, I hate it when other people do it, but then it's okay when I do it. I'm gonna take a nap and... And that's it. I'm very tired. Ultrasound, we'll see how it goes. I uh, will, today's Friday. And I have to wait until next week, that's for sure. It's super bright in my bedroom. And thanks, Manta, for sponsoring. I will be using my Manta sleep mask to have complete blackout and be able to fall asleep easier. I will talk to you guys soon. Mm-hmm.